This is David Holt, IV Consultant. Today's subject on giving IV antibiotics is penicillin. You will usually receive penicillin in the form of the combo called Zosin, and your penicillin element will be piprocillin. And so typically the dosage will be 3.375 grams of Zosin and the one-eighth which comprises the 0 0.375 is a different drug which I won't get into in this video. So your Zosin is going to usually come in a 50 cc bag and because you have a 2 IV tubing most of the time I hope you will program your volume to be infused on your IV pump for 50 plus 30 as a minimum that is Holtz 30 cc rule. So you'll program the volume for 80 cc's. Your rate, because you're going to typically give the drug over 30 minutes, your rate will be 100 cc's per hour. The focus of my book is not on IV rate, it is always on the volume to be infused because all your textbooks, your teachings, We'll have 20 pages or so on how to calculate the IV rate and not a single sentence in your textbooks or IV policies on how to calculate the volume to be infused. So you've got your uh, flush bag, perhaps the patient is on 50 cc's an hour, perhaps he or she is on 3 cc's an hour to keep the vein open but you are just going to hang your 50cc bag on your secondary tubing and in order to get that drug into the patient in a timely manner without it switching to its low or high IV rate on the primary you will need to program your pump for 80cc's. If the Zosin is a bigger dose, 4.5 grams, which I rarely see, you're more likely to see the drug come in a 100 cc bag and you will need to program your pump for about 140. There is a separate video on giving Zosin over four hours. I recommend that you take a look at that at your convenience because long duration antibiotics have a special set of rules. In the meantime, encourage your hospital to get its IV policy up to date so that they reflect the fact that your pump needs to be programmed for a lot more than is in your IV bag. Typically at least 30 cc's more than is stated to be in the IV bag.